Greetings and welcome back to Smartwatch Ticks. We're a YouTube channel on the web at smartwatchticks.com. I've got a fun watch for you called the Y20, and I'm about to show you why I brought this one in because I thought you guys, well, actually, you gals, would really, really like it. Yep, this is pretty much what it looks like, and there's something special about this one that marks what could be a brand new beginning for um, fashion smartwatches in China. Here it is, really attractive little thing. Uh, lots of different options to choose from. I picked something I thought Mrs. Ticks would like in gold with kind of a pink uh, looking band on it. We'll look at that in a moment. First, I wanna show you something about it. It's uh, called a mi, my, mi little, 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 me step m i i gotta remember that's not my it's me me step uh store is bringing us through their aliexpress outlet the full touch y20 sport smartwatch men or women they say ip68 with custom dials and all kind of features in it look at all of the options that you've got down here I think that's this one, but my goodness, you got different band combinations, you got different body combinations, everything. In fact, here's a look at the four different color options that they have. There's kind of a teal in a, looks like blue or teal case. Here's black with black. Here we go with the gold, a rose gold, all of it, all of it, and spec-wise, it's pretty decent. All in all, it's using the DaFit app. Going to show you that in a second. Somebody else uses that we've already reviewed. One of the most popular watches. Yep, uh, IP67, splash resistant, basically 240 by 480, full touch, 190 milliamp hour battery. Got the classic stuff that you find wrist. Twist your wrists to brighten the screen. Here we go with a standby of 10 to 20 days and about a week of normal use, one to three days frequent use. So you don't have to charge it every night. Heart rate detections, exercise, continuous heart rate monitoring, all of that. These are the languages supported. And this is a little bit more information about it. Let's take a look, first of all, at the app because I want you to notice this is the DeFit app, and the last time we used it, we had it connected to the rock, which it's still connected to. You would not believe how many Bluetooth bouncing signals there are here, <laughs> and rock is one of them connected here. We'll disconnect and reconnect it to the Y20 in a little bit, but first let's see what else we've got in the box. The easily removable bands are here, so basically choose your body style and color, and uh, you can pick a band or you can add bands on your own and I'll have a link to uh, straps co in the uh, show notes as well which offer incredible bands all kinds of colors and combinations that you might want to check out as well open it up a little further you see we've got the standard two pin magnetic uh, charger which hooks on like that and oh almost will hold the watch uh, so be careful when you put it on at night to charge that you set it down and make sure the pins are actually making contact then i got a quick guide here for you to get started can't get much quicker than this download the app and there's your product overview we've got a button a function machine they call it and that folks that folks that, folks, is really why I want you to see this one. A little bit more about charging and blah, blah, blah. We're going to get to the manual, but since I've got your attention, and I don't always have it for very long, I recognize that. I want to show you this button. Uh, I'm going to peel this thing off because we're not going to need it. The button here, look at, look at the design on this. Look how they've kind of extruded the metal out to the edge to highlight the button. Well, guess what? This is like the button on the Apple Watch. Now, we've all seen so many copies of the Apple Watch style and layout with the button here, the twirly knob button, and then the pill button down at the bottom in the same basic size. This is innovation finally taking off from China. Let's see if we got enough power to chart to open it up. I'm going to press it. Yep, it vibrated. There we go. This is innovation in that you are able to do the same thing we could do 
with the Apple Watch design, but look, it's a different design. Have you ever seen an Apple Watch look like this? Wouldn't it be amazing if they actually made a watch look like this? Why not? Why do they all have to look the same? They do, so if you really want to be impressive, you could wear this one with the same basic kind of uh, movement knobs and stuff you can do here. I mean, we'll go through it all, but you've got the best of the Apple Watch rotating knob in what I would consider a better overall feminine fashion designed watch. Yeah. Now we'll look at the manual, because some of you are bailing out already. Smartwatch uh, user's manual. Here we go again. You're going to have that whole bubble out, uh, layout capability, the QR code to uh, scan. You could do it right from your phone uh, right here uh, to download the DeFit app. But I highly recommend you just go to the Google Play Store and download it in your phone. Use the link I've got in the show notes. It'll also take you over there. The charging information, basic uh, stuff, okay. Here's what some of the pages look like. This is what you're going to see on the watch itself. And a little bit more frequently asked questions. Tethering can sometimes be a bit of a challenge, but once you get it worked out, usually uh, it'll hold once you get it connected. All righty. Well, we already have it on. I'm not even going to break momentum here. I'm going to bring this over and I'm going to remove the rock. Yeah. And I'm going to try to add a device. And let's see... If this pops up here, and we're calling this thing the Y20, look at all the other watches. Okay, it's going to be called the P8 Plus. You see how the picture, that's so nice they have the pictures now in here to match the device. We're going to link it to the P8 Plus. It says it's connecting, and it says it's connected. Oh, I got to upgrade. The battery's too low. All right, I'll fully charge it, and we'll come back and do the rest of the review. Okay, it's over there charging. While it is, I'm going to go ahead and keep moving, show you more about the app. We've seen this before. You have step count capability, last night's sleep time, little cards right here. Your heart rate information, your continuous heart rate information will show up here. You want to see all that data? Look at the review of this on the rock. This is going to be exactly the same with this watch. You got blood pressure zone, you got blood oxygen, and as we talk about on all of these watches, these numbers are are uh, you need to confirm for yourself whether or not they're valid and accurate. So when you get your watch, whichever one you get, test it out. Use it against a, a regular cuff uh, blood pressure device, sphygmomanometer. Is that how you say it? Yeah. Blood oxygen saturation, same kind of thing. Uh, all of your medical-ish uh, readings uh, should be validated and verified uh, to make sure that they're accurate for you. You got outdoor running. You can do all kinds of of other training stuff in here set that all up on the watch as well when you come over here oh cool we're up to 50 percent already you've got the watch to find and then you have all these other things now check this out i know we haven't looked a lot at the watch faces you got some stock ones we twirled it there but you also can add another watch face from the portfolio of faces these are the faces that are installed You've seen those. I think that's the one we ended on, which itself you can edit and change the picture on. But you can add another watch face to this one from the directory of faces that they've got right here on the app. Now, look at all of these. we got Easter theme coming right now. So they constantly are updating these uh, to, to get you April Fool's Day. Oh, my gosh. Today is actual Okay, I got to download that one. It's it's April 1st when I'm making this, so I am fooling you guys. It really is an Apple Watch. Oh, gosh, you know it's not. They're never going to make one that looks like that. Look how fast it's downloading, usually, and it's over there charging on the charger. Cool. Okay, we'll look at it in a minute when I pull it off the charger, but you've got uh, more watch faces that's been installed, but look at all the, look at that one. Wow. Look at that rich red in there. Wow. Okay. Oh my goodness. You got astrological. That's the uh, Ram, right? Aries. It's, it's, uh, come, it, we're in Aries. That's right. In March, April is the Aries. So I guess it'll change every month to the zodiac sign. Amazing. Pisces? Sure enough. Fun. All right. More and more and more. I'm just going to scroll through. Look at the beautiful star 
snowflake kind of patterns. Yeah. So this app, the DeFit app, which also would sync these faces to the rock, which is, you know, that waterproof, really rugged, nice watch, uh, or any of the others that use it, will have access to all of these watch faces as well. So very happy to see that they're starting to really get their act together to create beautiful watch faces that can serve up to a variety of different watches. That is awesome. But wait, there's more. Beyond the watch faces, as you know, you can set up your notifications automatically. Phone and messaging will be pushed, but you can put in all kinds of other things as well. And others is all the other stuff on your phone to push to your watch too. Of course, you're tethered to the app on your phone, as you see right here. So notifications is as simple as just activating them. You got alarms that you can set up from the phone if you want to that will uh, ring on the uh, watch, of course. You can do the remote shutter thing, so use the watch to trigger taking pictures with your phone. Uh, the upgrade, I just did a firmware upgrade while it's charging over there, so it's been doing that. You want to check that when you first get yours. Change your time, your units, do not disturb zone, uh, reminders to move, sedentary reminder. You have the ability to do continuous heart rate detection. You saw that in the very first tab that showed you where you could have your heart rate there. And you can control your phone music from here as well. You can change your languages. You can set the time you auto lock. That's when it goes off, you know, in five seconds up to 20. Um, and of course, the longer you make it, the shorter the battery life. But with a up to 20 day standby time and at least three or four days, two or three days heavy use, you should be able to get that uh, however you'd like it. The twist your wrist to see the time, you can turn it off at night. I just set those so it won't light up during the middle of the night and that's totally flexible. Drink water reminders. Check this out, heart rate warning. You can set an upper limit on here so it will uh, alarm you uh, if you are exceeding that limit, whatever you set. You can put your Fahrenheit or centigrade for the weather in whatever city you like. It's amazing. Physiological ladies, obviously, this is a ladies' watch primarily. I get a lot of feedback about gender-specific comments, so it has that appeal to be more feminine Ah, don't trap me in a corner here. <laughs> you can, if you happen to have a physiological cycle, that cycle day and length can be set. Uh, you can set the last day you have so that it'll tick off of that and even look at the overall calendar to see how, what time frame you're in. And all of that should be able to be viewed, not necessarily the whole calendar, but the different phases you're in, that one or that one or that one, should show up on your watch too to kind of let you keep on top of how you want to um, handle your body. Yes, okay. Whew. Uh, that's the other stuff. We did the upgrades over here. You've got your own setup stuff. You can change your profile, your goals. Yeah, you've seen all this before. And here we are back here. This is what I was talking about. You got your independent heart rate, but you also have continuous heart rate as well. So what do you think? Is the watch charged enough? I think we can work with it on 50%. Sorry, I was off the screen a little bit there. Um, let's bring the watch back over here. Ta-da! Happy April Fool's Day! Wow, if I did this tomorrow, that face might not even be there. This shows you a little bit about the layout. It's not quite edge to edge, and it is viewable at a wide angle from side to side. Uh, you saw the twist your wrist to light it up. It has a little bit of a chin on the bottom, but not terribly bad. And of course, as you know, we can just simply rotate the knob to change to different watch faces. It's super thin, this thing. Really, I really like it. This is nice. I think Mrs. Tix is going to like it. I generally, you know, when she comes home, I just say, here's another watch to play with. And oh, yay. I ought to wrap this one up and give it as a present. <laughs> when I'm thinking that way, you know, it's an impressive watch. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. If I swipe down, you get, oh, wow, all these different controls. you got a flashlight you can use if you want to. Turn it on, turn it off. You've got, well, you name it. There's the brightness control right here on the watch. There's a temperature in Shenzhen right now. There's the overall weather, and it's set for Fahrenheit. Looks like 
forecast is for rain, and you can put any place you like, or just let it be where you're located, because it'll pick up your location automatically from your GPS on the phone to set your uh, where you're where you're located. You got stopwatch, alarm, countdown, brightness, vibration. Actually, it looks a whole lot like the Rock, doesn't it? Except it's in a special uh, fashion uh, case. Very nice. Here's your messages, your overall sports. Oh, okay, that's your step count kind. Sleep, exercise. This is where you've got your workouts. You can open a new workout, choose which one you want out of. Oh, it's even got swimming. Interesting. All right. Um, measure heart rate and blood pressure and blood oxygen and so forth and so on. There's the breathing, the inhale, exhale thing is on this one as well. Man, this is nice. The Y20. You know, this is coming to us from a brand new participant here, but it, it's a good old friend that's kind of working with a new company that I think he's getting started. So and he always brings in great, great products. So very impressive. Uh, the settings about, QR code, resetting, theater mode, vibration on and off. There's what the icons mean uh, that we see before. Is that it? Nope, nope, we've got all these pages. Okay, land here and you can get your heart rate measurement just vibrated. So I guess it's starting the test. Again, it's a really thin watch and uh, with the uh, case design, it definitely in a whole new genre. Well, it would get it eventually, but I want to keep moving. You have exercise and weather. So all these pages are here. The player is the remote player. You play this and the music will play on your phone, whatever you had queued up uh, last. And of course, yeah, you can change all the watch faces directly here. Where's our April Fool's one? There we are. All right, gang, what are we looking at? I'm not even ready to show you the page. We are looking at the AliExpress company store. Check out the uh, Me Step store. When you click on the link in the show notes, it'll take you to this page, and you can select whichever watch you want. They run from $26 to $41. There's coupons, of course, usually that you can click on, get a few bucks off. Take advantage of those. And while you're there, you'll notice how here you can go uh, to products, and when you select products at the bottom, it says show all. You can see everything that the uh, Me Step store is selling uh, at their AliExpress outlet, in addition to this fancy Y20 that we're reviewing today. All right, you with me? Great. We will see you again soon. Thanks for watching and checking this one out. I'm impressed. A nice one, the Y20.